collation of Biosa State Governorship result will be concluded at 12 noon today. According to INEC official in Biosa, the process was shifted to enable outstanding results from Southern Ijo, Brass local government areas to come in due to the difficult terrain. Let's now cross over to Yenagua, where I rise correspondent. Okay, so, I mean, Dr. Bati, this is the election process. A lot of questions remain unanswered. Questions around how did people even get this INEC sensitive material to be able to fill in before the election started in the first place? And well, many other things that happened around in Kogi. Well, INEC has a responsibility to investigate, because, you know, the process, how his own operations was compromised to the extent that people will for, fill the result sheet even when election had not taken place. So clearly there's a, a case of compromise, breach there, and, and also a breach. Now, INEC wants to conduct uh, you know, elections on November 18 in the five local government areas and the polling units, uh, the, the wards in Ogurim and Gogo, where they had canceled uh, some of the results. Well, I guess the objective of that is to give the people of you know, those affected local government areas, including Ajakuta, Okei, Okene, Ogurimangogo, Adavi, you know, to give them the opportunity to cast their ballot. However, it's not as if it's going to make any much difference. Yes. And that's why they've gone ahead. But it's good to let the people realize, well, you can still vote. However, will the people turn out? If it's not going to make any difference in any way, in any case, they may not uh, come out. I asked Mary Chinda about the uh, vote buying because that's one of the major allegations by uh, uh, Senator Dino Melaye. He was saying that uh, you know, votes were being bought, maybe in some other local governments, other than the one that uh, uh, Mary Chinda and the Arise team uh, visited. You know, but he, Dino Melaye said he was not uh, uh, part of it. So vote buying is part of the problem. In spite, it will appear, also in uh, Bayesa State, in spite of the presence of the security uh, agencies. So many uh, security uh, agents were deployed by the various uh, departments of state, but still they could not control the situation well enough for us to be able to say lessons have been learned, progress has been made. And if you look at the three states, incumbents are the ones leading mm -hmm. or who have won. In Imo, Isopu Zondima, who is the incumbent governor, in uh, in uh, Kogi State is uh, Ododo, who is the anointed candidate of, of Governor Yahaya Bello, the incumbent uh, uh, governor. And of course, in uh, Bayesa State, reports indicate that uh, out of the uh, uh, six local governments that have been announced, remaining two, Sada Ijo and Brass, you know, it's been said that Doye Diri is comfortably in the lead. Really? So incumbency uh, factor again, okay. playing a major role in okay. these off-cycle elections. All right, over to me, George. Please tell us any stories out of, you know, Southern Ijo, Okunembe, Basambri, and those other areas. We've been hearing some shenanigans going on in Bayosa. Tell us more. Good morning, Ovechebe. And thank you for your work. Yeah. Good morning, Rufai. Good morning, Dr. Abati. Good morning. Well, you mentioned specifically those areas. Well, it's been uh, a subject of contention amongst the political parties in Bayelsa State, specifically the People's Democratic Party on the one hand and the All Progressives Congress on the other. Results uh, from Nembe Basambri, even before the declaration of the Nembe results, the People's Democratic Party protested uh, just a few meters close to the INEC office in Yenagoa. And that is because the security agencies formed a barricade and they could not proceed any further. So there were contentions even before the results were announced. You talk about Southern Ijo. Well, not much information has come out of Southern Ijo, none that I have, but everyone is actually waiting. That is the local government area of interest for almost everyone. I could tell you that people who went to the INEC to protest yesterday in the morning, stayed until the announcement that collation will resume today before they left. There were just some thousands of persons who went there. Now, the postponement to today threw up another round of anxiety amongst people. Some were actually concerned because uh, based on antecedents that they can recall, anything, anything, just anything can happen. So the fear, is palpable. The tension is increasing. 
why would a state of just eight local government areas have issues announcing results of two local government areas still pending? When Imoda has over 20, and what about Kogi? More than that, their results are out, winners have been declared, but in Bayelsa, just eight local government areas, everyone is still waiting. That is the tension that is, that is mounting down here, specifically about Southern Ijo and Brass local government areas. Those six have been mentioned and declared successfully. So that's the tension here. Well, um, let's talk about uh, Nembe Basambiri. If you look at the results from there, the PDP is also leading, according to the re results uh, released so far. But it's the PDP that is protesting. Because they say in APC strongholds in uh, Nembe uh, that uh, the candidate of the APC, uh, that the APC rigged the election. And yet, if you look at the margin of lead of uh, Governor Doye Diri, uh, what, why, is the, why is it that it's the PDP that is protesting? The margin is uh, almost close to 100,000 from the results announced so far from the uh, uh, six uh, local government areas. Why is it the PDP that is uh, protesting? Dr. Abati, if I can make a journey into the minds of members of the People's Democratic Party, and I come out, I would say I'm a bit confused. But I asked that question yesterday. Why protest when you are in the lead but the information I got was every vote counts. Every number that should be reflected of those who came out to participate should be announced. That is the grounds of the PDP. Uh, you talked about Nembe. Well, Nembe, uh, you can see the margin. Um, the All Progressives Congress won that one. Basambri is the area of contention. Uh, and of course, many can see uh, those communities around Basambri. But you know, there was a problem even before the elections, months before the elections, where two factions were fighting in Basambri. Now, the faction uh, that stayed behind somewhat, somehow held sway. Not also that the SWAT team that was deployed there are still there. Perhaps they left and came back, they are still there. So those who were chased out due to the fracas could not return to the community to cast their ballot. Even when they tried to make an attempt to enter the community, it was unsuccessful. I, I, I think that's, that's where the PDP is arguing. Now about those who are disenfranchised in those areas, I don't have details because I wasn't in Basambri to cover the elections. Even if I was given all the kekefiai or the locally made foods in Bayelsa, I wouldn't go there because security was never at any point in time guaranteed. No journalist can tell you that they have videos from Basambri because none could dare to go there. Wow, that's a chaotic state where, you know, I just want you to, you know, stay cool. And speaking of, when you talk about all the food in bias, I remember the very good fish you, you made available to me, and I thank you for that. But let me also go one step further and ask about the violence. Only God knows what happened in Basambri. What about the violence? What about the capturing and the kidnapping of Hynek uh, officials? What about the shenanigan with the boats issue and all of that? Tell us about all of this. Okay, I will still go back to Nembe. Because Nembe has outshone Southern Ijo right now. Now, at the collation center yesterday, the chairman of the All Progressives Congress in Bielsa State, who is also the agent, Barrister Dennis Otiotio, was not happy. He said a lot of units were cancelled, which he felt the APC would have increased their number, their results from Nembe. He was arguing, he was angry, even, uh, he was even cautioned there at the collation center. But you can see the passion of a man who was actually arguing. But that was another way countered by the agent of the People's Democratic Party and former speaker of the House of Assembly in the Old River State, Right Honorable Talford Ongolo. He said, I neck officials were held hostage and when they made their reports to the INEC, that was why results in those units that were mentioned were cancelled. So you see, 
There were traces and sparks of violence and disenfranchisement. Now, we go a step further, Rafael, like you have pushed me to, just when we were thinking that everything was going better, a departure from the norm, what we heard that a member of the People's Democratic Party was killed in brass, not far away from the INEC office. The picture is everywhere. It's in the social media also. The man was killed. So now I can mention one casualty. That man is gone. The results will be announced much later. But his family will never forget, will never forget 2023 governorship elections in Bielsa State. So in the past, before the elections, you would hear people had been killed. Just where I live, in 2019, before the elections, that Saturday morning, the gunshots are sustained from hours where I live. This year, nothing of such happened. We were counting the success of the Bayelsa governorship election before the PDP member was killed in brass. Now, if you talk to the APC, they will also make reference to their members that are casualties of this election. So it all boils down to what the security agencies can do to avert this recurring decimal in the politics of Bielsa State. The INEC has done its part. Look, I just want to commend the INEC here. <coughs> I want to commend the INEC. They've done a perfect job. Almost perfect, if I must add, because people are waiting for the results of Brass and Nembe to be able to assess the INEC. The tensions are mounting, Rafai. Somebody was saying a particular chairman of a particular political party is in town, and so something will happen. I waved it off because I am a journalist. I'm not the electoral umpire. But I tell you, Rafai, this is a question I've not been able to answer. Perhaps you can answer. Maybe Dr. Abati, who will soon become a professor in media, should answer that. That is by the wayside. Mm. Eight local government areas. We're still waiting. Imo, gone. Kogi, gone. Done and dusted. Piles are eight local government areas. Why? Maybe you can help to answer okay. that. Okay. Thank you so much. We've got to go. Thank you so much.